Does fenugreek actually boost testosterone? I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're continuing our series on testosterone boosters. And today we're gonna to talk all about fenugreek. But before I do that, I just wanna remind you of our brand new free ebook called Better Sex, Better Life, which I've compiled for you with my top 10 tips to improve pleasure and have better sex every time. Make sure you check out the link in the description below to get access to that. So the reason I've been talking a lot about testosterone boosters is because we know that testosterone is so important for a variety of different things, including, as I mentioned before, sexual function, libido, muscle mass, mood, brain health, just so many different things. But, but what you probably don't know is that people with low testosterone have been shown to have a 40% greater likelihood of dying compared to men in observational studies who have normal levels of testosterone. And those with severe late onset hypogonadism, meaning energy deficiency that occurs after 40 years of age, were at a five time greater risk of all cause mortality compared to men without this condition. And this is even when you control for a variety of different things, including age, body mass index, smoking, and overall general health. So this is a serious condition that needs serious attention. It makes sense that people are often looking for supplements they can buy over the counter to boost their testosterone. Now, what about fenugreek? What is it? So it's a plant. It's usually found in areas like North Africa, Asia, Southern Europe, and it contains these very small golden brown seeds and it's been used for a lot of alternative medicine and Chinese medicine. In fact, I've personally used it for um, lactation purposes because we use it often in Indian culture to help, it's believed to help improve breast milk production. And there's also some potential benefits for testosterone boosting. And the theory is that this is probably an incomplete 5-alpha reductase and aromatase inhibitor, meaning that it's preventing the breakdown of testosterone into estradiol or dihydrotestosterone. And the active ingredient in fenugreek is what's called glycosides and saponins. And one of the saponins that it's high in is called diosgenin. And this is a precursor for progesterone and testosterone. So subsequently, it's thought to result in an increase in testosterone. So let's start on the data. In fact, there's been a reasonable number of studies. Now they're not all high quality, they're not all a large number of participants, but there is some data on fenugreek. So one study was a systematic review looking at a total of six studies, and they looked at either fenugreek extract, testofen, or fenufg, which is another fenugreek extract, and then the other ones looked at IND9, which is manufactured by Indus Biotech, and furosap, which was manufactured by Chemical Resources. And then lastly, they looked at Recunin, which was also manufactured by Indus Biotech. So these are all sort of formulated supplements. And five of the studies were randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trials. So randomized, placebo-controlled trials are considered the highest level of evidence when they are created without bias and they are powered to detect a difference. And so these, again, there can be good randomized control trials and bad randomized control trials, but generally the design of the study is the most important. The other six study was a double-blind placebo-controlled crossover study, meaning they could cross over to the intervention arm. So ultimately, pretty designed studies. They looked at a total of 366 participants, and the men were anywhere from age 18 to 72 years of age. And each individual study had anywhere from 16 people to 120 people. Now, of those six studies, four showed an increase in serum testosterone concentrations, and two showed no significant difference. And we're gonna get into the data, into the nitty gritty, so we can go over it. Let's start with the largest study. So the first largest study was, again, a double-blind, randomized clinical trial in 2016 which was based in Australia, and they took 120 men. So this is the largest study. 60 men were in the control group, and 60 men were in the intervention group and received the fenugreek seed extract called testofen. Now, these guys at baseline were overweight and obese. They were an average age of 54, and their average body mass index was 30. 
And when you design these studies, you have to look at the primary outcome. So the primary outcome of this study was particularly looking at the symptoms of androgen deficiency. And they measured this by looking at a validated questionnaire called the aging male symptoms. They wanted to see, do your symptoms get better taking this medication or this supplement? They also looked at other secondary outcomes like sexual function, sex hormone concentrations, and even sleep quality. So in terms of androgen deficiency symptoms, they did find a significant difference between groups. So in the entire score, which was like overall score, as well as subscores of sexual subscores, as well as somatic subscores. Now, what is a somatic subscore? It looks at four questions specifically looking at general well-being, muscle aches, and sleep quality, as well as excessive sweating. And so in those groups, they saw, again, overall, they saw an improvement. They also saw a difference in sexual function using another questionnaire in terms specifically of sexual arousal and sex drive. They also noticed that in terms of erections, they had an average of one erection per week prior to this study. And then after they were supplemented, they noticed that they were having about two to three erections per week. In terms of hormones, they saw a small, but what they call significant increase in testosterone, specifically total testosterone values from the baseline to the 12th week, which was going from 12.3 nanomoles per liter to 13.8 nanomoles per liter. And they also noticed an increase in the calculated free testosterone from 241 picomoles per liter to 264 picomoles per liter. Now, they did not see any significant side effects with the supplementation. However, less than 5% did have headaches associated with taking the supplement. So bottom line, they saw that it was safe and effective at least reducing symptoms and improving sexual function. And they saw this slight increase in testosterone, but is it clinically significant? That's a bit unclear. However, we have to take this data with a grain of salt because it was funded by GenCorp Pacific Hong Kong, which supplied the supplement that was used in the study. Now, the next largest study was also done by the same group. It was 100 men in Australia who also had symptoms of BPH, so benign prosthetic hyperplasia or enlarged prostate. So that could be things like having a weak stream, having hesitancy, waiting for your stream to start, um, having a stop and start stream, or having sort of a very weak stream. So this study was another 12-week study of 300 milligrams of testofen twice a day. So 600 milligrams total. And in this study, they actually did not see a significant difference in total testosterone or free testosterone for that matter. Now, other studies that were looked at in this meta-analysis were much smaller and mostly done in young, healthy men who were not overweight and didn't have any other medical conditions like BPH. So briefly in 2016, they did a study for eight weeks out of India, looking at 60 men, 30 who got the supplementation and 30 who were in the control group. And they used what's called FENU-FG, which had 300 milligrams of fenugreek seed extract twice a day, again, 600 milligrams daily. But in this study, they also had them do a resistance training program. And so with both the resistance training program as well as the FENU-FG, they saw a really significant increase in free testosterone of about 98%. And they went from 17.76 to 35.29. Now that sounds really impressive, but again, these guys were also doing resistance training, which we know if you guys have watched my video on exercise and testosterone, improves testosterone quite significantly. Now in 2018, there was another study of young healthy men between the ages of 18 and 30 in the United States. And they looked at 40 men total, 20 in the control group, 20 receiving the fenugreek supplementation. And they used something called Furosap, which was 250 milligrams, one capsule once daily. Now this particular extract is enriched with those saponins we talked about earlier, and it had 20% of protodiosin, which is a steroidal saponin. And so ideally they should be, even if the dosing is lower, they're getting enough of the supplement to see a difference. And so in this study, they did see a significant increase in the serum testosterone, and it went from 545 to 669, so a 23-ish percent increase. 
And lastly, in another eight week study done in the US, looking at 30 men and 17 in the intervention group and 13 in the control group, using a different fenugreek extract, 500 milligrams once daily, saw a significant increase in serum total testosterone by about 6% or so. They did also see that the bioavailable testosterone, so that's free and testosterone bound by albumin, increased by about 12%. So is it safe? Some people do report they get sort of a, like a sweet body odor, like a maple syrupy odor when taking it. Um, but otherwise there are some potential side effects. So more most often it is GI issues like diarrhea, nausea. Occasionally some people will get headaches or dizziness as one of the studies mentioned. Now, large doses of fenugreek extract can cause a significant drop in blood sugar. And sometimes you can also see allergic reactions, particularly if you have allergic reactions to other things like peanuts, um, you may be more likely to get allergic reactions to fenugreek. Now, there have been some reports of people having fenugreek resulting in liver toxicity, uh, but this is very rare. There's also reports of a skin condition called toxic epidermal necrolysis, which is again, exceedingly rare, but there are always risks, even with supplements. It's not that you take something natural and you're not at risk. So if you are taking, if you have a liver condition, if you're taking diabetic medications, blood thinners, or medication called theophylin or metoprolol, fenugreek can interact with those medications. So make sure you talk to your doctor, especially if you're on a bunch of medications. Now, I want to share this. There's one published report where a young man had a new onset, a case of bilateral blood clots in the lungs or pulmonary embolism three months after starting an over-the-counter fenugreek extract. So while this is one case report, it does serve to tell you that supplements are not without risk. So what do I think about fenugreek? Well, the largest studies we reviewed showed either a very small benefit or none at all. Now, the smaller studies tended to show a a pretty significant benefit. So what do I think? I think if you are a healthy young man who has no other medical conditions, it may benefit you. However, if you're overweight or you have other medical conditions, you may not see the benefit of fenugreek, in which case I would probably be weary of starting a supplement with potential side effects or interactions with other medications you may already be on. So, and if you followed me for some time, you know that I talk about supplements with caution because there's no regulation in terms of the supplement industry. Oftentimes these supplements are mixed with other compounds or substances that are not on the label and taking those without knowledge of what's in there can be dangerous and have really dangerous side effects. So ultimately use supplements cautiously and I hope you guys found this helpful and useful. Next week, we're gonna be talking about Tribulus Terrestris, which is a very common testosterone boosting supplement that's often found in combination with other supplements, but we're gonna look at specifically the data on those individual supplements. Now, if you missed my last video on Androstine Dione, Androstine Dial, and DHEA, make sure you check that one out. And as always, we're gonna take care of yourself because you're worth it.